In our cane program, we use a couple of instruments for cane training and actually training as well for the use of saber and sword and for Tai Chi Chin Na. The first of these instruments we'll call the flail. It looks like this. Got a weight attached to the end of the rope. And the rope threaded through a hole in the tip of the rod. We we'll use this flail like so, bending to the side, bending to the front, and the other side. It's one way of using the flail, and the other way is to hold the weight steady and turn the rod from side to side. And of course, whatever we do with the right hand, we also want to do with the left. This flail is homemade. We have the hole in the shaft and a knot at the end of the rope to allow you to adjust the length of the rope to fit your height. And we also have a latch holding the weight onto the rope and this latch feature makes it easy to change the weight uh, that you're using if you want to go to a heavier or a lighter weight. Obviously, when you're using the flail, the higher up you, the shaft you hold the flail, the easier it is to do the exercises. So you can adjust the effort you put into the flail by either changing the weight or changing your grip on the shaft. The second tool that we use for Tai Chi cane training is uh, we'll call a windlass or a winder. Again, it consists of a rope with a weight attached, a rod with a hole drilled through it, and a rope extending through the hole and a knot of the rope. This winder will use winding up, winding down, continuing winding the other way, and winding down the other way. So now there's just two ways to wind. One, the rope goes up the back of the rod. and the other, the rope goes up the front of the rod. It has a different effect in each mode. When doing the winder, you can vary the width of your grip, which will also have a different effect on working your muscles, and also you should vary your grip from palm down to palm up. The winder has the same features as the flail, the latch for easy changing of the weight, and the knot in the string for changing the length of the rope. Naturally, you want your rope to extend down far enough to give you a good workout, but not down so far as to scrape the floor. This is the winder. 